Do longer videos get more love from the YouTube algorithm? Are hour-long podcasts getting more exposure than your two-minute short film? I'm Christos, VP of Engineering, and in this video, let's talk about video length as it pertains to YouTube's search and discovery systems. YouTube's search and discovery systems try to help each individual viewer find what they want to watch. This means they will surface videos that viewers are interested in watching and also that viewers will find satisfying after watching. Now, when you hear that second part, you might think, aha, I knew it. The algorithm directly rewards long videos because they are more satisfying and cause people to watch longer. Podcasts will take over, but that's not the case. If it were, you'd never see music videos with millions and sometimes billions of views. You'd never see hit animated videos either. YouTube's search and recommendation systems use hundreds of signals to determine how to rank videos. And certainly, the average view duration of a video and the average percent viewed are some of them. What you don't want to do, though, is start padding the length of your videos just for the sake of making them longer. We've seen creators try this, and it often hurts, not helps, the performance of their videos. After all, if the quality of your videos decline and viewers start clicking away early, that is not a positive signal. Now, if you have the choice of making an amazing 20-minute video that keeps people riveted instead of an amazing 10-minute video, would the 20-minute version get more exposure? Quite possibly. The reason is that viewers may find the 20-minute version more satisfying. Viewers of the 10-minute version may watch something less satisfying after that video or just leave YouTube less satisfied. But we know that how long someone watches is only one way to estimate satisfaction. That's why we're now using satisfaction surveys as well. Maybe you've seen them. They randomly ask viewers to rate a video after they've watched it. This helps us further understand the difference between a video that wasted your time versus one that was well worth your time. The best thing to do as a creator, don't overthink your video's length. As they say, the runtime should match the content. If it takes two minutes to communicate what you want to say, make a two minute video. If it takes 20 minutes, make it 20 minutes. If viewers really enjoy watching it, our search and discovery systems should do their job surfacing it to others. I hope that helps. To learn more about how YouTube works and how to grow your audience, be sure to subscribe here on the official YouTube Creators channel. Thanks.